We're back to talk about more of the Marvel Disney Plus announcements, aren't we, Mason? You better believe it. Big a week. Huge week. Mm-hmm. We've already talked about the Loki trailer, probably. That's up already. We've already talked about the Marvel Disney Plus TV series. Could could also be up. Less could likely, be. We don't but know. Could, could be up there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And now we're, of course, going to talk about uh, the movie announcements that have been made. This video is 100% up. That's right. You're seeing it. You're seeing it right now. Give it a like if you're seeing it. Don't close your eyes. I know you can see it. Don't close your eyes now and say your eyes were closed the whole time. How'd you click on the video? Exactly. In the first place. Ridiculous. Liar. Maybe you're one of those people that listens to YouTube. Fuck out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> it's, it's not called you listen to YouTube. It, that's not called dot that. .com. Collings has put a lot of effort into, the, into the, the visual element of this, and you should watch it. He edited this. All right, let's go through some of the announcements. Now, we know Captain Marvel 2 was happening, uh, but we've got a few things that have been confirmed. Uh, Nia DaCosta is going to be directing... Aman Vellani from the Ms. Marvel TV show is going to be joining this as well. Are you going to team up? We're going to f- see how she's like, this Captain Marvel's pretty good. I could be Mar- Marvel, but I'm not a ranking Air Force officer, so I'll have to go with <laughs> gonna... Ms. Ms. Marvel. Exactly. And on top of that, we've got Monica Rambeau, who's now grown up. Yeah. Of course, made her debut in, uh, in the first Captain Marvel, which was set in the 90s, which, of course, is also going to be linked to WandaVision. So there you go. Totally. There you bloody go. So this was like sort of what they're doing with Spider-Man where they're just kind of bringing everybody together, you know what I mean? I think it makes for a more interesting movie when you've got more people in it, don't you reckon? I think they should build some sort of Marvel Cinematic Universe. I agree. If only somebody could, you know what I mean? If only somebody had the resources and time and had already been doing it for a decade plus. Oh, you know what? They should bring in the Dark Universe guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're pretty good at it, so bring That's those true. guys in to do they it. Did that, Take a crack. Yeah, they did that one movie and then that one picture. Yep. I remember, yeah. I've got some Thor updates. Okay, I'm ready to hear him. Thor 4, Thor Love and Thunder is going to be filming in January and it's been confirmed that Christian Bale is playing Gore the God Butcher. That's interesting because we've speculated that my pick was that he was going to be the Minotaur who is a mythological beast who can also transform into like a slick business guy, like an 80s business guy. Ah. And I'm like, well, that is that is classic Christian Bale uh, American, American Psycho. psycho stuff, but it yeah. turns out he's going to be Gore the God Butcher who's basically a guy... In, in the comic books, he's from, he's a man from an alien planet mm-hmm. and his wife and his kids are all killed and he's like, well, that must mean there's no gods. But then he sees all the gods and he's like, what? What are you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and so he acquires uh, All Black, the Necro Sword, yeah. which is a mythical sword, which is actually a symbiote ah, in the style of Venom and it yeah, bonds right. with him and he can use it to kill gods and he goes out and he, and he gets them. So that's what he's up to. So the question I think would be here is how much of that backstory is put into this character. Like, are they going to do the the Venom symbiote thing or is it just going to be a magical sword? Is he going to be an alien or is he going to be from Earth? And, you know, he's seen all the horrible stuff that's happened to Earth in the last decade and he's like... He's seen the movie Venom and he's gone, ugh. Yeah, right. All right, this makes me angry and I'm going to get one of those. Right. For revenge. Do you think they will tie it into Venom? If they do symbiote stuff? No. Loosely. Yeah, loosely. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah. Plausible deniability if it doesn't work out. Exactly. Glorious. Uh, next up, they mentioned that Blade is happening. It's still happening. That's what we knew. Mm-hmm. No yep. more casting news. But it's happening at some point. I think that's going to be like either end of this phase or start of the next one. But we are getting Ant-Man and the Wasp. Wantamania. That's a great title. Isn't it just? So Peyton Reed is back as director, who did the first two. Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas, Michelle Pfeiffer. Catherine Newton joins the cast as Cassie Lang. Ah, replacing the previous Cassie Lang. Exactly. Good? No, <laughs> no was... I didn't think so. I thought she was no. good, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's an age thing. Maybe they want a slightly older. It could be, that's slightly right. Older yeah. actor. And also Jonathan Majors, who's awesome, by the way. Lovecraft Country. Oh, yeah. He's in that most recently as Kang the Conqueror, which kind of confirms time travel-esque stuff. Shenanigans? Shenanigans, Unless exactly. he's broken his time travel thing and he's just wandering around like a shopping mall or something. <laughs> yeah, it could be that. Yeah, yeah. That's very Ant-Man. I, a... I used to be a, a big time time travel guy. World Conqueror. It's in the name. But now, shopping cart guy. So this is a Wendy's. Very good. That joke everybody's sick of. Yes. Very, I'm very bringing good. it back. Yeah. So he actually has been like publicly saying that he would love to do Fantastic Four. But the major reveal from this, I guess, is that they just announced they're doing Fantastic Four. Right. And it's this happening. is the director is going to be? Uh, it's going to be John Watts, who's directing the Spider-Man movies, the, the newer ones. Yeah. For me, that's a better choice. I like Peyton Reed. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, this is this is great. No casting, no date. Is it John Krasinski? I mean, there's <laughs> yeah. so much fan art, isn't there? Is, are they bringing back? Maybe it's an assortment. Maybe it's Michael Chiklis <sighs> and um, um, 
the other ones. I don't know who any of the other actors from any, any of other, other Fantastic ones. Four movies. Michael Chiklis and whoever, assorted friends. Four Michael Chiklises. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, so uh, that's there was no X-Men announcement, which some people were looking for, but, you know, I feel like this is something that people have been waiting to see done well. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I feel like, well, this cannot be the worst one. Can it? That's right. It can't be. Surely not. They're all the worst ones. Unless this is that weird thing where they have to keep making a Fantastic Four movie every few years, otherwise they lose the license. No, this is they own the license. Oh, they the own license it now. That's is right. Back at, yeah, is yeah. Back at but maybe the rule, maybe the rule, maybe the rule stays. Yeah, it might just. And what the last amount? Wait, who would they lose the rights to? Us? What would you do with it? I'd make an even worse one. Yeah, I'd ruin it. I'd ruin <laughs> but I'd put again. so much money into it. Yeah, I'd yeah, get yeah. like two hundred million dollars of investors' money, but it would just look like shit. It's, it'd be the fire festival of Fantastic Four movies. <laughs> Doctor Doom is played by just a just a really. I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not an actor. I was going to say like a like a really bad sandwich, but all right. Okay, that's fine too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, it'd be a good Doctor Doom in my movie. Yes, Dan Blitzarian. <laughs> Bilzerian? Dan Bilzerian. Whatever his fucking yeah, okay, name is. Sure, right. uh, but they also mentioned Black Panther 2. Nothing major about it other than, you know, it is moving forward. It's going to be out in July of 2022. Mm-hmm. But they did say they're not recasting, which right, I yeah. think is kind of it's the way to go in this situation. So there will be a new character or there will yes. be a character perhaps from one of the from the previous movie who will take yes. on the mantle of Black Panther, yeah. I've mentioned that I'd kind of uh, like it to be the role that goes to a number of people. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you did like... Yashuri's and maybe M'Baku and he could even bring back like Michael B. Jordan, Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya. I mean, there's anyone there that you could kind of, you could really hand it to. Mm-hmm. So there, there are ways that they could do it. But I, I think it's good that they're not recasting. And again, crossing my fingers for Martin Freeman. What? <laughs> sure. He's, he's a good a chance as anyone. Just to clarify, you are 100% serious about that, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> I'll, I'll stand by it like I stand by everything I say in these <laughs> stupid videos. <laughs> But, yeah, those are all the major announcements. Uh, they also talked about, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, just that they're filming the holiday special at the same time. But, you know, the, the, what do you say about that? They're doing it, aren't they? They're making it. It's happening. They are absolutely yeah. making it. Uh, also, with these announcements come a bunch of other Disney Plus announcements, which we are going to talk about on our podcast, The Weekly Planet. That is correct. There's a bunch of announcements, including there's an Alien TV series. There's a Chris Evan-led Buzz Lightyear movie. Yeah, which is, which is about the character not the toy yeah it's about the character that inspired the toy which there also was a cartoon for previously that's right there was too yeah fantastic stuff tim allen must be turning in his grave that he's already bought he's not dead but mm-hmm. he just likes to sleep in it and roll when he's angry <laughs> you know what i mean you know what i'm talking about i'm pretending to be dead oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we're doing the santa claus movies as well the moment of that's games. right yeah, it's yeah. in our heads now but yeah uh thanks for thanks for watching this we appreciate it and we'll see you on another thing won't we grab that jam you guys we'll see you next week goodbye yes to answer your question yes to what answer the question we'll we'll see we'll see you on another thing we will see you yeah yeah Yeah. oh and thank you to Collings for a super quick turnaround on the edit we really appreciate it how quick was this edit Mason so quick too quick it's here already ah